Hey friends, welcome to my channel. Let's get crafting. For this DIY, we are gonna be using these supplies from the Dollar Tree and then these wood pieces from Hobby Lobby that I picked up in a pack. Now I'm gonna go ahead and make a marking so that I can get three different sizes, large, medium, and small. And then once I had those all cut out, I went ahead and painted them over with a really dark gray color. Once everything was completely covered with one coat, that's all you're gonna need. I went ahead and took my white paint and a napkin and I just dry brushed on some white paint until I got that farmhouse crackle type paint texture that I was looking for. This was a really easy step to do so just make sure you just have fun with it and get it to your liking. Then I patched the holes and sanded them and real quick I want to give a huge shout out and thanks to Lisa for sending me these countersink drill bits. I am so grateful for how thoughtful you were to send these to me. They really have become so handy already and I just love them so thank you so much. So I went ahead and did some countersink holes. This is gonna allow the drill to be able to sink that screw all the way down in there so that you don't see it when you put it on your table and it doesn't scratch your table. Once I had all of these pieces of wood mounted onto the white plaques that I'm painting, as you can see here, I went ahead and moved on to those pieces that I picked up from Hobby Lobby and I just cut down some of these craft sticks to the size I wanted and I'm painting them yellow after gluing on those sticks to them because these are now gonna become little flames and wicks. Then I drilled a hole and just sunk that right down in there with some hot glue to make sure it stays in there. And then I'm just distressing it a little bit and I thought it would be so cute to add a bow up on top just like I saw in my inspiration from an Etsy shop. I thought these were so cute and I just wanted you all to see how affordable these are to make and so cute for the Christmas time to put on your table. So once you've got your bow on it, just go ahead and snip off the extra twine that's on it and then hot glue it all into place. Today is the Friend Friday Hop and I am so thrilled to share all of these talented friends who are joining me today. Each one of them are gonna be making three to five crafts with the Christmas theme in mind, and all of us have come together to pull a giveaway. Now, it's really easy to enter the giveaway. All you have to do is go down below in my description box, click the next link in the hop, that will take you to the next channel and the next channel, and as you're hopping along, make sure you are leaving a comment on each video and that will allow you to be entered into the giveaway. You have until Tuesday midnight on the following Tuesday. Then on Wednesday, December 2nd, we will announce the winner on all of our community tabs. So make sure to head over there on that night and we will announce who the winner is of the giveaway. For this DIY, it's super simple. We're gonna take this piece of wood, some bells and some fabric, and I'm gonna start by painting the wood white. This is gonna become a cute little house home decor piece. I'm gonna then take a strip of that fabric, cut it down to the size that I want, and then on the ends I'm gonna create a little dovetail and I'm gonna glue them down into place because I just like when they're glued down very lightly so that they don't flip and get kind of wonky over time. Then I'm gonna take one of the bells, lace it onto a piece of twine, bring that underneath the knot, and then simply tie it right in the center of that knot. This is the cutest, cutest thing to give to a loved one. If you have a little goody treat basket that you're taking someone and you just wanna give them something for Christmas, these are so easy to make if you like doing a little homemade gift to give people. And then I just put this little twine bow in the middle of it and for a great substitute if you don't have a Cricut or a Silhouette, a cutting machine, these rub-ons from the Dollar Tree are so fantastic. You just simply cut out the letters that you need peel off the little white paper on the back, rub them down, lift up the little clear piece of plastic on the front, and then you have the cutest little custom sign. So easy to make, so quick, and what a great way to make a home decor piece. And then I just sanded the sides just a little bit to add some texture and some depth. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Heidi Sambel and this is my DIY channel. I have been crafting pretty much my entire life. I am a third generation crafter and I absolutely love sharing these projects here on my channel. I post every Tuesday and Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and 
don't forget to come on by on Instagram and say hi to me over there because I give all kinds of sneak peeks and things that I'm up to throughout the week when I'm not posting here on my channel. This DIY is so whimsical and simple to make. We're gonna start with this ornament from the Dollar Tree. It is shaped like a Christmas light and we are gonna start with painting it a peachy tan type color. This is gonna be the face for Santa, this color. And once you've got a nice coat all the way around it, you're gonna go ahead and then move on to white paint. Make sure it's obviously dry first. And then we're gonna almost make like a bracket shape. <laughs> like when you think of writing a sentence and we're talking about writing brackets, think of it like that way because we're just gonna be curving along that cheek that we are gonna later on put some pinky rosy cheeks on. So you can see here that I'm just rounding around that spot, but I'm stopping and then I'm gonna come down and create a connected line between those two bracket lines. Once you've got that, go ahead and take some more white paint and then we're gonna just go all the way around it, filling in the bottom and we're not gonna go above where we hit that original line because that up there is going to be where his red hat goes. Then while the paint is still very, very wet, go ahead and take some sugar glitter and just sprinkle that all over and it just makes the cutest beard on this Santa ornament. Then we're gonna take some red paint and we are gonna come around on the top and use quite a bit of it. We want it to be really saturated and wet and tacky so that we can then sprinkle on some of this beautiful red glitter. Tap off any extra that you don't want and make sure that it is all nice and clean and dry before you move on to this next part. Now we're gonna go ahead and make his little eyes. Now you can make his eyes look however you would like with a little dot or a little smiley, kind of squinty eye, which is what I'm doing here. I wanted it to look like he was kind of laughing and just having a good old day, taking presents around to people. And then I'm gonna take some pink and just tap that on with my finger, creating those rosy cheeks that he has. Then with some white, I'm coming up on his eyebrows and just making these little dash type lines up here and then a little red dot for his nose. Then this is part that I thought was so cute, just to add a little smile down at the bottom. Now once that was all dry, I'm gonna just take one of these car cloths from the Dollar Tree. I love this fabric because it's so fluffy and it's really great for Christmas DIYs. I'm then gonna just take some of that and I'm gonna cut a long strip and this is gonna become the fluffy part on Santa's hat. I kind of zigzagged back and forth with my hot glue just to make sure that it had a nice coverage because we are gluing onto glitter and I did not want that to fall off over time. So I'm making sure I'm zigzagging back and forth to cover quite a bit of surface so that this fabric really sticks to it nicely. Once I got all the way around, I went ahead and pulled it nice and tight, making sure everything was padded into place took my scissors, cut off that end part, and then I'm just going to have a nice clean finish on the back side. I always like to try to make my DIYs look as store-bought as possible, so when people see them, they really appreciate the quality of them. And then I'm gonna just cut out a little mustache, screw on the top, and he is ready to go for Christmas. If you haven't heard, I have started a new tradition here on my channel that is called Send Me a Christmas Card. I wanted to give back to all of you and say thank you for such a wonderful year that I have had here on my channel. I'm gonna link the video where I talk all about it down below in the description box and at the end of this video. So when you're all done with the hop, make sure you go and check it out and enter into the giveaway that I'm doing for all of you to say thank you so much. This DIY is a great one to try if you are a new crafter where it has a high-end, really beautiful look for Christmas. We are gonna take these items from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to trace out the size that I need on the fabric, cut it out. Once I have that all cut out to the size that I want, I'm then gonna take some hot glue and glue it down on that sign that was originally for the summertime. We're repurposing this. You can use this with any size of these signs that you can pick up at the Dollar Tree, but this is the one I had left over from summertime and I wanted to make sure that I used it. Then I'm gonna patch those holes and I'm gonna come back in with some white paint and paint over it with two coats of white paint. Once everything was dry and everything was really dry because I wanna warn you that these 
rub-on stickers, they will pull up the paint if it's not fully dry. So just keep that in mind. And then once it is all fully dry, go ahead and put on these rub-on stickers. We're gonna use the words, Merry Christmas. I thought this would be really pretty. And I cannot remember what friend it is, but I saw a friend use these berry garlands. If I can figure out who it was, I'm gonna link it down below with the supply list in my description box. I'm gonna try really hard to figure out who it was. I just cannot remember. And if it's a friend that's watching this video, will you let me know if this was the one that you did? I saw someone take these berry garlands and turn them into this really beautiful circle. And I thought, that is so pretty. I definitely wanna try that here on my channel. And I, I wanna make sure I give the person credit, whoever thought of that. So please leave a comment down below and let me know. So once I had that circle, I went ahead and added some ribbon, just as you're seeing here, and I decided to staple it down into place. I flattened down the staples on the other side because I didn't want them poking through, and then I just brought the ribbon around the back side, glued it all down into place, and then on the front, I came back in to hide the staple, and I added a ribbon. Now the reason why I did the staple was because I wanted to make sure the weight of this wreath on it was not going to eventually pull it off. Then I simply added in some greenery, sanded the sides, and it was ready to be displayed for Christmas. I hope you have enjoyed these DIYs today. Don't forget to go and check out the hop. Linked down below is the next person in the hop for Friend Friday. Leave a comment down below to let me know which was your favorite DIY for today. Also, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And until the next episode, bye friends.